Yeah, that part's not true. That's the so last crazy. Part. Oh. Okay, all right. I uh, want to get to Josh Cozart, who is talking about this wildfire situation in Salem. Uh, yeah, kind of an explosive activity as the hot, dry conditions only build from here. Today, one of the warmer days that we've seen over the past couple of days or so, not by much, only making it up into the upper 70s, low 80s, but the excessive heat continues to push its way back into the I-5 corridor. Right now, you can see a bit of those smokier skies off in the distance. This was the closest wild, or I should say alert wildfire camera that we were able to see near the Salem area. The smoky skies kind of turning that sunshine red once again. As far as the winds go out that direction, that's where we expect to see them remain out of the north with gusts nearing about 20 miles per hour. So if anything, all of the wildfire smoke likely to travel south through the Willamette Valley, and that might push those fires in that direction as well before we slowly calm back our winds by the time we get to the early morning hours. Air quality continues to sit at good level for the I-5 corridor as most of that wildfire smoke remains up in elevation. Not the case though for parts of Lane County, falling back to the moderate to unhealthy category, just the same for parts of Deschutes County. All of this comes off the heels of a red flag warning that was issued earlier today. It goes into effect tomorrow starting at 11 o'clock, continuing for 24 hours into Friday morning. That's where low humidity values will be found over the foothills of the Cascades and the lightning threat also begins to ramp up as you can see some of those smokier skies guys there off in the distance, likely getting ready for a nice red sunset for us here in Portland as we move our way through the rest of this evening sunset tonight just before 8 o'clock at about 8.05, I should say slightly after as the winds remain out of the north at about 6 miles per hour. If you are planning on doing any biking, make sure you do it maybe earlier as opposed to later as some of that wildfire smoke will start to settle its way closer to the surface, likely decreasing the air quality as temperatures fall back into the 70s. Cloud-free skies, though, found across the region as we see just a little bit of that cloud coverage out over the Pacific, not likely making its way into our area, but we do see the thunderstorm potential start to ramp up for the Cascades east of the mountains and parts of the Willamette Valley. This is just kind of a fine line. We could see a straight thunderstorm or two even develop out along the coast as we work our way through tomorrow afternoon and the evening. The biggest impacts that's going to have for us is hood to coast, especially for those early morning runners out towards Timberline, maybe catching a bolt of lightning, a rumble of thunder as our temperatures remain in the low 60s as the day moves on and you lower in elevation. That's where temperatures will round out in the low 90s just in time for the runners making their way into Portland as several low pressure systems dance overhead. High pressure over the central plains. That was the culprit for the record breaking triple digit heat that we saw just last week. We're going to get another taste of that in the coming days, but thankfully this low pressure system puts a cap on that excessive heat with daytime highs only getting up into the low to mid 90s. So nothing like what we saw last week, which is good news as the clear skies remain despite the wildfire smoke that plagues much of our area. Maybe just a bit of patchy fog by the time we start off the day tomorrow and then we see the sunshine once again filtered through the wildfire smoke, giving that nice red glow to the sky. But once we get into Thursday, Friday, morning. That's where we start to see that thunderstorm potential. These are going to be very isolated. Not everybody's going to get in on it, that thunderstorm activity, but nonetheless, we do have that potential once again returning. That kickstarts off the Oregon State Fair on a hotter note. 91 for Friday for the first day of the State Fair and 92 for Saturday, expecting those 90s to continue into Sunday. 58 degrees is where we expect to fall to tonight and for the start of the day tomorrow. Patchy fog a possibility mixed in with the smoke that will be in abundance tomorrow afternoon as our highs get back up into the 90s. Thunderstorm potential ramps up Thursday night into Friday. If anything, that's the biggest takeaway is that that thunderstorm potential does return as our daytime highs remain in the 90s through Sunday. But maybe just maybe a chance, better chance to see some light rain showers come this time next week. We'll keep our fingers and toes crossed now in hopes that that actually comes to fruition. Like on Sunday, still hot. Still hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to it by this point. Uh, that looks like almost fallish, though. Yeah, I know. Slowly sneaking its way in. We'll get yeah. there. Hey, hundreds of runners and teams.